Last stop on our road trip this morning is a brand new art studio. Ashley Orr takes us inside Art and Clay located downtown in Lancaster. If you're really feeling artsy, you have to make another stop while you're in Lancaster. I'm hanging out with Temple. So tell me, where are we and what are we about to do? Well, we're excited to have you here. You're at Art and Clay on Main in downtown Lancaster. And what we do here, we do a lot of things here, but a lot of what people know us for is paint your own pottery. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to have right. you try and it. You're going to help me out. So you can see we traced Good Day. So we're going to have a Good Day mug at the end of this. Yeah. Um, so you start me off and tell me a little bit about this place in general because this isn't the only thing you do here. No, we do a lot here. In fact, I think what makes us most unique is we are actually owned by the Fairfield County Board of Developmental Disabilities. We are what we call a purpose-driven enterprise. So while we do things like paint your own pottery and we do glass fusion classes, we have an art gallery, um, we also employ persons with disabilities from the Fairfield County area. Um, we have programming here for our adults with disabilities, a program called the Blue Shoe Arts uh, Studio. And that is a, uh, an accessible art studio for adults with disabilities. So a lot of the art that you'll get to see today is actually created by adults with disabilities. And that'll be on sale this weekend, you said? It will. Well, this weekend is a big weekend for us. It's the Lancaster Festival Art Walk. And um, we see, just in this building alone, about 34 to 3,500 people will come. Wow, that's yeah. amazing. Yeah, in just a few hours. So. Um, so all of the artwork for the, that the artists produce will be on sale that evening. Um, and what's neat about that is that they get all of the proceeds from the sale of their artwork uh, minus the supply costs. So not only is it a purpose for them, but it's also a source of, of revenue for them as well. And it's something that the community looks forward to every year. We're definitely one of the hotter spots during the art walk. We tend to be very, very busy. Um, I like to think it's because we're such a cool place to be, but you know, we are also have some pretty cool real estate too. So. All right, <laughs> awesome. So folks can come in do their own things here, right? Yes, they can. We are open seven days a week for people to come in and do um, paint your own pottery. We also do glass fusion, which has gotten really popular. Uh, we have art classes for children, art classes for adult, pottery wheels, you name it, we've got it. Our newest addition as we have uh, the new Square 7 coffee house here, so that also is a purpose-driven enterprise. Square 7 employs adults with disabilities as well as um, members of the community. All right, awesome. Well. Let's see if my artistic abilities are going to shape up to yours here. <laughs> I'm going to keep working on this mug, guys.